has tipped to win his first Oscar playing Venus and Serena Williams' dad in King Richard. And as life can sometimes imitate art, Hollywood actor Will Smith says he drew on his own experience as a parent, and his memories of growing up, for the role. Revealing he channeled his own late father to play the part, the 53-year-old actor says, I think, more than anything, I was more mature going into this role. I had sort of probed myself deeper. I wrote my memoir over the past couple of years so I was deeper into myself and into my comprehension of my father and my relationship with my father and my relationship with my children. So, as an actor, I understood myself better which made it easier to comprehend Richard Williams and the Williams family. He was very, very similar to my father. My father was military so that post-World War II black man, that mindset. Pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. And Richard Williams, similar to my father, felt disrespected and abused and disregarded by the world but never let it break him. So I understood what that look was in my father's eyes and I recognized that in Richard Williams' eyes. And then in terms of being a father myself to a young black girl in this world, I had a sense of that also. So I felt more prepared than ever in my life to honor and explore this man and this family. Will's dad Willard died in 2016, aged 76. The US Air Force veteran instilled a fierce work ethic in his children father of three will once said, Dad was tough but not tyrannical. He kept me in line. He'd get this look that said, one more step, Will, and it'll get ugly. Richard, who has been married three times and has nine children, had a similar approach with Venus and Serena. After taking tennis lessons from a man known as Old Whiskey, he decided his girls would be tennis pros when he saw Virginia Ruzasi playing on television. Richard says he wrote up an 85-page plan and started giving his daughters lessons when they were just four. After they started going to public tennis courts, Venus and Serena got into tournaments but in 1995, Richard pulled them out of Tennis Academy and started coaching them himself. Both girls would play in tour events but Serena went on to triumph at the US Open in 1999 while Venus beat Lindsay Davenport to win the coveted Wimbledon title in 2000. After that victory, Richard shouted, straight out to Compton, in reference to a song by N. WA a hip hop group based in Compton, California, the same area in Los Angeles where the family once lived. Richard then jumped over the NBC broadcasting booth to perform a triumphant dance. Since those successes, Serena has won a total of 23 Grand Slam singles titles and Venus became the world number one in both singles and doubles. Will, who was married to actress Jada Pinkett Smith, 50, never met Richard, now 79, while preparing for the role. Instead, he watched more than 100 hours of videos and worked on perfecting his Louisiana accent. Will says, we have never sat in the same room together. As soon as COVID hit, he was unavailable in person. His daughter Aisha was on set every day, Venus and Serena would pop in and out and his other daughter Landrea was wardrobe. So anytime something came up, we had Aisha and Landrea right there. It was very helpful. And what was really cool, Venus and Serena said they would act as executive producers during the shooting but they wouldn't put their name on it until after they saw the movie. Will who is dad to Trey, 29, Jaden, 23 and 21-year-old Willow, 
also enjoyed taking time to get Richard's deep South accent right. He says, I have a little bit of a musical ear for dialects. I'd say six weeks it takes me to get a dialect, two hours a day, one hour with an instructor, one hour just listening. But usually six weeks to be able to just ad lib freely and just have a conversation in a dialect. Generally, with a character like this, I'm looking for one physical thing to latch onto to make me understand how their body works. Will also says it was easy to mimic Richard's unique gait because he reckons he walks like he's pushing a trolley. Once I had a shopping cart, then I had kind of the idea of that walk, he says. And that concept throws your head forward, it changes your voice, it changes the amount of air that you can take in and all of that, so that was the thing that really clicked. Once I had the dialect and the concept of shopping cart, I started to be able to dial it in around those two major concepts. The shopping cart really speaks to the amount of abuse his body had taken. He had been beaten so much and his body had been battered so much that it left him in that kind of position. The hard thing, the most difficult aspect, was I was surprised at just how much Venus and Serena loved him. Like, they loved their daddy. And the thing that was most interesting to me is how, you know, if you're driving somebody to succeed like that, it's really difficult to sustain a loving kindness. It creates a different thing when you're pushing. But Venus gave me the key with that. She said, no he never pushed us like that. It's almost like the Jedi mind trick. He tricked us into betting him to play tennis. Their punishment would be that they weren't allowed to play tennis. And I remember Venus was like, I don't even know how he did that. But we'd be begging him, Daddy, please can we go practice? Please can we practice? So he is a very unique and special man. Will has previously been nominated for five Golden Globe Awards and two Academy Awards, and has won four Grammy Awards. His Academy Awards include a nomination for Ali in 2002 as well as 2007 flick The Pursuit of Happiness. But it's his role as Richard Williams that is expected to land him the Best Actor Gong when the awards take place in March. Could it finally be game, set and match for Will?